Good morning, Reefers. I'm Daniel. This is the Predator Tank, and this is like day three of the build. We've been working on it. We got the sand in, we put the rocks in, we even have a few fish in there, and we're gonna do a couple more things, but this tank is almost ready to go, so check it out. This is the rock scape that we decided to go with. It's gonna be a lot of Predator fish, and it is visible from both sides. So we do have lots of caves and swim throughs for the different fish. And this is just an awesome, awesome looking piece up here. So I don't have my gimbal with me and I don't have my filter, so I do apologize for any of the blurry vision for you guys. But this is that awesome rock I showed you guys with the hole cut through. It's just absolutely incredible. The fish love it, it's good for water flow. And the only thing that we didn't do yet, let me go around back and show you. Uh, and here's the other tank, which I have to clean the glass on that. But we put some rock in here. And I didn't get the putty yet, so I was just looking at it, trying to get the feel for it and see how much I loved it. But I do love it. It's awesome. I'm happy. So I'm just going to put a couple pieces on here. See the rock can teeter just a little bit on that pivot point. So I'm going to take some of this coral crete over here. Um, it's a really cool epoxy. It's two part. It's in this tube. So you basically just take it out and you cut a little bit off how much you need and it mixes together. So once you do that, I will apply it in between the gap where the rocks are teetering right there. You can just see them and I'll put the putty in there and over here I'll smash them in there and some up top. So anywhere there's a spot that looks like the rocks could fall, I'm going to put this coral creek because it's just, just safer. Some of the predator fish can scare each other, sometimes they chase each other around. so. I don't want to have any issues with aggressive feeding and knocking over a rock on top of one of the stingrays or an eel or something. So we do not want any collapses to happen. That would be pretty bad. So I'd rather be safe than sorry. And we are only running two of the Ecotech lights right now. For some reason, our middle one shut off. So I do have to give that a look. But these are Gen 2s. They're 10 years old at least. And I've had them sitting here. So. They probably do for some kind of maintenance update, so not bad for 10 years out of the light. Um, but there you guys go. So that's our quick update. Um, Eric keeping busy over there. <laughs> so thanks for watching and commenting, guys. I really appreciate it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And share this video with a friend and let us know what you think. So we do like to name our fish. Um, so we'll be looking for some names. This is our dog face puffer. We did take him from the store. He was just creating a little havoc in that tank and he was biting people's tails. So we brought him over here um, where he can feel right at home. But there you guys go. Thanks for watching. As always, happy reefing. Until next time.